falling asleep behind the wheel at 30,000 feet in the air. British aviation officials are investigating now whether these two pilots nodded off at the same time when the plane was on autopilot. Oof. Local reports began surfacing that while one pilot took a 20 minute nap, his co pilot then also fell asleep. The airline in question here says there is no proof this actually happened, but that hasn't stopped the British Pilots Association from speaking out. Today, here's the statement that they released accusing the aviation authority of being, quote, far too complacent about the levels of tiredness among British pilots and failing to acknowledge the scale of the underreported problem. So the man who covers all things aviation for us, Mr. Richard Quest, joining me from uh, the studios there in New York. And so, uh, I mean, first of all, if it's true, obviously it's incredibly frightening, but, but it, maybe the real question is, are pilots working too much? And I think that is exactly the issue. Uh, the what's and wherefores of this case are, to quote the, F the CAA, ambiguous at best, and sources uh, that I've spoken to. Nobody can be sure what happened on that flight deck at that time. And anyway, British pilots are allowed to take a snooze in flight. It's known as in-seat resting, and they are allowed to do this, provided the other one is flying the aircraft, and it's no more than so long. There are, there are various rules of when you can in the flight and when you can't. Hmm. So the question of what happened here is one major issue. Much more important, the US is looking at the number of hours pilots are flying and has come up with some new tighter regulations. Some will like them, some don't. The Europeans have looked at them, the pilots don't like them. They say they're too, too lax. But when, Brooke, you now have these flights, I mean, just think about it. Yeah. From uh, New York to Dubai, 16 hours. Oof. These mammoth long, ultra long flights. It's inevitable that pilots get tired and no amount of rest before the flight's going to cure that. I've been on a plane to London and saw the pilot come back to where we were sitting and just zip up and go to ah, bed. But I'm going to presume the, someone else was in the that's, pilot seat. That's rest, that's rest time. And of course, that's built in to, to, to the actual flight itself. And, and nowadays, nowadays, on many planes, the pilots have their own special bunks where they can go and sleep and they can sleep properly. The hmm. core, trying to work out when a pilot should be sleeping, when he should be flying, when he should be on his rest, it is fiendishly complicated. <laughs> it's all to do with the number of flights, the hours, the times, the, yeah. the, the red eyes and everything. But the core issue remains. Pilots say they are being asked Overworked. to fly too much and they are being asked to fly when they are fatigued. And on that question, we must all be concerned.